Welcome to the video abstract for our recent work, Cubism, Self-Similar Visualization of Many Body Wave Functions. Systems of many qubits are extensively used in physics. The two states can be spin up and spin down, the presence or absence of a particle, or abstractly 0 and 1. However, as the number of qubits grows, the number of parameters needed to describe the state grows exponentially. Is there a convenient visual representation of such quantum states? We propose the following plotting scheme. Divide a square into four quadrants. Pick up the first two particles, depending on their state, put them in their respective place. This procedure can be iterated as many times as needed, until all qubits have been considered. We use color to represent the amplitude. For example, this state will fall into this small cell. No matter how many qubits, the corners have a special meaning. They correspond to the ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic states, respectively. For example, let us consider the decay state at half filling. That is, this is the state that has the same number of zeros as ones and is symmetric with, this, uh, with respect to the interchange of particles. Notice how the structure develops as we add more and more particles. It is very different from our product state, which presents no entanglement. Now, let us look at the ground state of the antiferromagnetic Heisenberg Hamiltonian. This diagonal line represents the states made of adjacent single pairs. This line contains a single structure, but for a different pairing. The mapping can be generalized to states of higher dimensionality, for example, free. Here we present the ground state of the AKT Hamiltonian with its fractal structure. Its fractal dimension is actually 1.26. The plotting scheme is not unique. An alternative possibility is to emphasize the distinction between fermatic and antifermatic states. As an example, this is the way the ground state of the Heisenberg Hamiltonian looks like in this scheme. Let's now look at the ground state of the 1D Ising model in a transverse field, as the external magnetic field varies. Even more exotic schemes can be designed. For example, we can use one based on a rectangular triangle. This triangular mapping also has beautiful and informative plots. Self-similarity of the plots is directly related to their quantum properties. Exact self-similarity means that the state is factorizable, that is, not entangled. To be more precise, the number of building blocks is equal to the Schmidt number, a measure of quantum entanglement. Let's pick the first two particles. For product states, all types are the same, up to normalization. But for the decay states, we see that there are three different types out of four possible. You can separate the first four particles from the rest. In the product state, still all blocks are equal. But in the decay state, we can spot five different types of types. Interested? Have a look at our paper. Or try this plotting scheme on your own. Thank you.